And welcome back. This is game number four, week one, season two of the Hometown Football League. And we have a good one for you today, or so we think. It's going to be Kansas City and Los Angeles. Tomorrow we'll do Baltimore and New England, uh, give you the score recaps from the other games on our recap show at 6 o'clock on Friday, as you may be seeing this tomorrow, September 10th. But this is for air on September 9th, being recorded September 3rd. It's Kansas City and Los Angeles in the Western Division. A new eight-team Western Division. 81 degrees, a light breeze at the Memorial Coliseum, home of Super Bowl One and Hometown Bowl One. And it should be an exciting matchup. And off we go. Joe Montana acquired in the offseason from the champion San Francisco Gold Raiders. Kansas City had a higher draft order than, uh, of course, the world champion Gold Raiders did. So they swiped Joe Montana, who was at one time in his career a cha Kansas City Chief. And he'll be leading the helm for the Chiefs against Jared Goff, who took the Rams to Super Bowl 52 a few years back. And L.A. is a combination of the Rams when they played in L.A., the Chargers when they played in L.A., ditto the Raiders, and the uh, Los Angeles Dons of the All-American Football Conference, led by Glenn Doss, Dobbs. And Kansas City wins the toss to first. Los Angeles will receive. They are in blue. Kansas City in white. Arnett, Lewis, and Williams are the deep men for the Rams. And this one is underway, and this one was hit uh, probably to Las Vegas, <laughs> and that winds up being a touchback. A first and ten from the 20. Here are the uh, lineups for Los Angeles offensively, and for the skill positions, I read off the receiver rankings or numbers. McCutcheon is a five. Younger is a two. Those are the running backs in a base formation. Brown is a ten. Ellard an 8, Christensen a 9, and you got Goff quarterbacking. And the blocking numbers, Huffman is a 9, Wisniewski a 10, Namets is an 8, Putnam is a 9, and Slater, Jackie Slater, is a 9. And we'll go through the defense of Kansas City right after this trap left for Lawrence McCutcheon. No Eric Dickerson in the lineup for L.A. He is in Atlanta. Uh, because at one point he played for the Falcons. So Atlanta picked him up. So let's hit the defensive numbers for Kansas City. Allen and Smith are a 10 and a 9, respectively. Buchanan a 9, and Mays an 8 at the defensive tackle spots. Your linebackers, Bell a 10, Lanier a 9, and Hall, or I'm sorry, Halley is a 9. And defensively, Thomas and Lewis are both 9s. Robinson and Cherry are both 10s. And we're going to go to Tom Fears. He is the tight end in this formation on a short cross. See if Goff can find him. And Fears does not make the first down. We could challenge the ruling, but we will not. We're going to keep that uh, one challenge in our pocket. If you haven't caught the first three games, the replay system stays the same. All turnovers and all scores are reviewable, but if you want to review something such as the spot of the ball, you have one challenge and one challenge only. If your challenge is unsuccessful, you lose a timeout for the half. And we're going to go McCutcheon off tackle left. Kansas City ba playing a base. And that, is that a first? It is indeed a gain of a yard. Lanier on the tackle for Kansas City. These two met in the playoffs last year. And some thought it was an upset that uh, Kansas City beat Los Angeles to advance to the final eight where they lost to the eventual champion Gold Raiders. We're going to look for Tim Brown on the cross, first and 10 at the 31. That is caught. That is a gain of eight. Mays may have been hurt. Mays is one of the defensive tackles. His return is probable. So Jones, Chris Jones, an eight from Mississippi State, will enter the game to take Mays' place. On a second and two, double tight end set. We're going to go to Tank Younger on a dive play. And Tank 
I don't know what you could say about Tank. He only gained a yard, so maybe he had a flat tire. Third and a yard. Ball at the 40. This Kansas City defense is tough. And we're going to... We're going to fake going to McCutcheon. We're going to go play action to Timmy Brown. Played for the L.A. Raiders. That's an incomplete pass. So the gamble fails on fourth and one from their own 40. Danny Villanueva is the punter. And he's. we're just going to do a straight out punt. Too early to be doing any trickeration on your own side of the field. That was Dante Hall who had such a great year last year in season one. Scored many a return touchdowns. The return there, 10 yards, and Kansas City will start from their own 25. The offensive lineup, Charles and Richardson are both 5. That, that's their receiver rating. Smith and Bo, 9 and an 8. Gonzalez is a 9. Montana is your quarterback at a Notre Dame. Trier is a 10 blocking. Shields a 9. Rudney an 8. Waters a 9. And Schwartz an 8. That's your Offensive line for Kansas City. We'll do the L.A. defense after this first and ten play from the 25. Montana looking, finding Gonzalez for 15 yards. Rich angled him out of bounds. You've got a good front four for Los Angeles. Donald a 10 plus. Deacon Jones is a 10. Those are your two defensive ends. McLaughlin is a 9. And Merlin Olsen is a 9. Those are your defensive tackles. Kevin Green a 9. Richter an 8, and Robertson a 9, and the defensive backfield is McDaniel a 9, Irwin an 8, Cromwell a 9, and Rich an 8. So it's first and 10, Kansas City at their own 40. Montana gives it to Robertson, I'm sorry, to Jamal Charles. Robertson made the tackle for no game. Second and 10 at the 40. Another number 16 backing up Montana is Len Dawson. And this is a give to Richardson, who gains five. Waters was hurt, but he's going to remain in the game. Waters is the right guard for Kansas City. A third and five. If you're wondering where Pat Mahomes is, he is not in the historical collection. Maybe he gets in this year. Of course, he's a, he's a nice young man. Has only played in the league a few years, so the... Pro Football Historical Collection, as Dave Koch Sports has it, doesn't have them in the line, in the historical set yet. So that's why we're using Montana. Third and five at the 45. Tyreek Hill is in the game now, uh, the historical set. So you'll see him probably at some point for Kansas City. The third and five was incomplete. That was a pass intended for Jamal Charles. So L.A. will get it back on the punt. Fourth and five. I think they will just straight out punt. Going to land inside the 15. I think we have Brown back there. We do. And the return is a nice one out to uh, the 32. A pickup of 17 yards. It, it was at the 14 and goes to the 31. So the Rams and the Chiefs are tied. We've introduced everybody to you. 9.26 left in the first quarter. We're going to go younger on a die, first and 10. And younger... Gets a little older, gaining two, and we'll show you his numbers. He's had a Grambling State, a fine uh, line of football players coming from Grambling State through the years, uh, led by the legendary Eddie Robinson. Of course, Doug Williams came from Grambling, went to a Super Bowl, uh, helping the Redskins win Super Bowl 22. played for the Buccaneers before that. We're going to go Brown, the short hitch on second and eight. L.A. seems a bit flummoxed what to do against this very stout Kansas City defense. The throw to Brown is complete for five yards. Lewis on the tackle, and it's now third and three. And Kansas City thinking about what to do here. It's going to be a play-action medium pass to Brown, but a marker. False start. Offense, number 76, five-yard penalty. They get Wisniewski for a false start. Penalties are reduced by 20% in uh, this season of the HGFL. We figure everybody knows how to play and probably won't commit so many penalties. We're going to go Christensen on a short hitch. Oh. 
It's a sack. Buck Buchanan making the tackle. We believe that was Buck. Could it be Willie? No, Buck Buchanan. Another great from Grambling State. And L.A. will have to punt on 4th and 13. As we were telling you earlier, it's 81 degrees clear at the Memorial Coliseum. I'm sorry, folks. They're not playing at the Coliseum. They're playing at SoFi Stadium. That's right. That is in the game this year, L.A.'s new stadium. So my apologies for misrepresenting that they were playing at the Memorial Coliseum. They're playing at SoFi. Villanueva will punt. It's a good one. Hall with a nice return of 13 yards. The punt went 49. So at SoFi Stadium, we have played over half a quarter. No score. Both teams playing it safe and cautious, as you would think the teams in their first game would be. First and 10 at the 36, Montana, in that double running back shotgun that has become the rage this year. The pass incomplete. Looking for Tony Gonzalez, but not finding Tony. A second and 10, the ball at the 36. Same formation. L.A. showing a kind of like a Rubik's Cube formation there. But it's over the middle, complete to J.T. Smith, a gain of 11 yards. His first catch of the day, I do believe, yes. Early on, Montana is 2 for 4, 26 yards. First and 10 at the KC 47. Montana gives it to Richardson. Richardson, no gain. Nolan Cromwell comes up, making the tackle from his safety position. And it's second and 10, still at the 47 of Kansas City. They're 53 away, 53 yards away from the L.A. goal line. Montana throwing. That's incomplete. A little off the mark to J.T. Smith, making Montana 2 for 5 for the day, 26 yards. And it's third and ten. The ball at the 47 still. This is a throw incomplete looking for Charles. And Kansas City cannot get anything going after reaching the 47 of Los Angeles. So they will be forced to punt here. And it's Jarrell Wilson back from last year with the punt. It's going to roll, it's going to land inside the 15, and we're going to let Brown return it because he's a good return man. Had some great years with Notre Dame before hitting the pros. He returned it 18 yards out to the 30-yard line. Gain of 18. So we'll go younger. That's L.A. kind of being tentative. Kansas City, a defense with no real weak spots. And it is second and 11 after that one-yard loss by Tank Younger. They'll go Christensen on a short slant. Goff back to throw. He finds Christensen a gain of nine yards. Goff has gotten off to the better start. He's four for five, but only for 30 yards. We're going to inside run it with McCutcheon on third and two. Just pick an inside run, boys. And McCutcheon short. Of the first down. He needed two. He got one. And now L.A. gets the honor of punting it back to Kansas City. We have Villanueva again back deep. And he will kick deep. They have the wind advantage. So why not kick with the wind? Hall with a six-yard return out to the 23. We have 3-11 left. Opening quarter. No score. Well, Baltimore or New England for you in our next game which should air on September 10th at 7 o'clock. We'll have the recap show of all the other games at 6. First and 10 at the 23, it's Montana giving it off to Charles. Charles with a head of steam, and he will pick up 18 yards. Robertson on the tackle at the 41. So Charles with that 18-yard game. I'm going to have to toggle the stats here. Yeah, yeah that's, that's the only 18 yards he has. And that was his second carry. A first and 10 at the 41 as the Chiefs. See what they do here. Going to be a pitch to Charles. No, it's a screen. And that's incomplete. Second and 10 at the 41. 2.13 left to go. I saw Joe Montana's last game in Tampa. Oh, there's J.T. Smith with a nice game. 24 yards, Mc. Daniel making the stop at the 35. We have 201 left now. 
And KC at the LA 35. First and 10, Montana. Giving it off to Charles. Loss of a yard. Yeah, I saw, uh, I believe that was Montana's first regular season game, and it was his last game in Tampa. Uh, the Chiefs pasting the hapless Buccaneers. I think it was 27-3 or something like that, and I went to see the game. Because I had a feeling it was going to be Montana's last ride in Tampa. Second and 11 at the 36. Here's Joe. He's got J.T. Smith to the 20, to the 10. Touchdown, Kansas City. Some Chiefs fans going wild. And the L.A. fans bring out the Boo Birds. Here's the point after try. Your kicker is Butker, and it is good. Your score, Kansas City 7 and L.A. nothing. So our net, Lewis and Williams, again back deep for, KC, uh, for L.A. Kansas City kicking into the wind. And they will down it four yards deep in the end zone. So what do you do if you're L.A. and you're facing this very stout defense of Kansas City's? Well, we're going to go along to Henry Eller just to try to take advantage of the win. Goff is sacked. Actually, no, Allen stripped the ball out. Willie Lanier recovers. And Kansas City in prime real estate. First and 10 at the Rams 12 with 25 seconds left to go in the quarter. So out comes Montana. He's in the I formation. Probably the first time we've seen that. And that is no gain for Jamal Charles. We will have played a quarter with that last play. It's KC7 looking for more and L.A. nothing. Kansas City with 108 yards, L.A. with 23. They have run 11 plays, and Kansas City has run 15. Second and 10, ball to 12. Kansas City looking to add to their lead. It is Pass a penalty. Defense, number 27, automatic, first down. Montana was trying to throw it to Gonzalez. Rich got a little too handy, and it's first and goal at the one-yard line. Because on a, on a pass interference to the end zone, the ball is spotted right there. So how will Kansas City go about it here? A first and goal to one. A lot of good options, but that wasn't one. Charles, a four-yard loss, tackled by Robertson. And let's show you Robertson. Isaiah Robertson, you see him there out of Southern. That's the New Orleans University, and we will note that Charles now has five carries for 13 yards after that four-yard loss. Montana, nine for four, 86 yards and a touch. Second and goal from the five, and we have another marker. False start. Offense, number 68, five-yard penalty. Push it back, push it back, way back. Second and goal now at the 10. Might be giving uh, Montana some room. Richardson will pick up four of those yards back. A third and goal at the six. Smith and Bo are your receivers, top and bottom. Gonzalez is your tight end. Richardson will plow ahead for four more yards. Gets to the two. So they'll try a field goal from 19. This should be a chip shot. Butker puts it through, and it is 10-0 in favor of Kansas City with 12.41 now left in the half. Well, you know the cast of characters by now, Arnett Lewis Williams. Sounds like a law firm. They're back deep, and Arnett didn't even get a chance to handle that. That's a touchback. Kansas City now going into the win. They're going to try to rely on McCutcheon a little bit. Hoping he can get some gains. And that's eight of them right there. Bell on the stop. McCutcheon, that's his fourth carry for 12 yards. Goff still at four for five and 30 yards. We'll try play action. Go to Brown on second and two. That's incomplete and nearly picked off by 29, who is Albert Lewis. Third and two. What do you do? I'm going to go stretch with McCutcheon. Try to get the first down yardage that way. As the offensive line pulls, it's a gain of three. Thomas is going to be hurt. 
And they'll bring in Peters to replace him, who's also a nine, Marcus Peters, out of the University of Washington. Of course, Kansas City has been playing uh, in pro ball since 1963 when they moved from Dallas. They were the first three seasons of their existence, the Dallas Texans. And you'll see a few Dallas Texans on the Dallas franchise when we get to it, as was the case last year. Pitch to McCutcheon. We're going to do a little student body right here on first and 10 from the 31. There's the pitch. McCutcheon picks up seven. Mays on the tackle. McCutcheon now at six carries. He can get 33 in before he begins fatiguing. Second and three. How about a tight end screen here? As soon as I can find the screen. To Christensen. Probably wouldn't expect that. It's complete, but... Oh, yeah, Christensen got the first down. Todd Christensen was on that Super Bowl 18 team. I think he was on the Super Bowl 15 team that played from Oakland, but it was uh, Super Bowl 18 where the Raiders won their only Super Bowl representing Los Angeles. And they are still the last team from Los Angeles to have won a Super Bowl. And the only team from Los Angeles to have won a Super Bowl to date. McCutcheon trapped left on first and 10 from the 41. McCutcheon with a little bit of room. He picks up seven yards. McCutcheon on those late 70s Bucks teams. Late 70s Rams teams. I was thinking of me seeing him. My first ever the first ever regular season game I went to was a Bucks Rams game. Not the not the famous one where the Rams won nine nothing and Jack Gungblood played on a broken leg. But they played in the week four of 79, and the Bucks won that 21-6. Dive for McCutcheon on second and three. And McCutcheon carrying the mail for a first down. So they're finding success running the ball. As McCutcheon getting some fatigue numbers. We'll go to Younger. Off tackle right. And Younger did not do very well. No gain. We'll go back to McCutcheon on trap right, second and ten. And he finds a nice little hole, seven yards, setting up third and three from the 41. And Goff is going to roll out and fire a short pass to Brown. And Brown's got it, a first down, a pickup of six yards. Todd Gurley is now in the game. He replaces McCutcheon, and we will go to him. Off tackle right, first and ten from the 35. And that's a loss of yard as Mays came up, lowered the boom on Gurley. And the Boo Birds out again at SoFi Stadium. Second and 11. That is the football stadium, as some of you in L.A. know, that the Chargers and Rams are sharing. And out to Timmy Brown. That's incomplete. That sets up third and 11. We'll go four wide, put a man in motion, and we'll go medium pass to... How about Henry Ellard? Unknown, so we don't know what to adjust to. There's Brown in motion, I think. The throw is incomplete. So it would be a 53-yard field goal try into the win, but the odds only 31%. So we bring in Villanueva. He'll try a little soft shoe here, try to pooch it. And that pooch goes all the way out of the end zone, a touchback. So that was not executed well. Kansas City leading 10 nothing. We're 547 away from halftime. First and 10 at the 20. Total yarded situation is now 112.67 in favor of Kansas City. Montana to, Rick, uh, to Charles. Richter made the tackle. Les Richter. Sounds like he should be in a 50s band. You see him there. He could also play center, and he could also kick if ever needed. Second and 8 at the 22. Montana with a lot of time, but... Could not find Gonzalez. He threw into double coverage. Rich blanketed him, and it's incomplete. And I'm going to have to cough for a moment. 
Second and third and eight, I beg your pardon, at the 22. Montana throwing, and it's complete to Rid. And I was going to say Riddick Bow, but that's the boxer. Dwayne Bow out of LSU makes the catch. Bow, Riddick Bow, listen to me. Uh, Bow is one catch, 19 yards. Montana now up five to 11. Five for 11 and 105. First and 10 at the 41. Gonzalez with a nice grab. Gain of 11. Montana might be getting into a rhythm. They could use him for 41 more passes. So he can go 53. A first and 10 now at the 48. And we do have fatigue set up. That's Montana to bow again. Dwayne Bow, a pickup of 12. First and 10 at the 36. Riddick Bow was a heavyweight boxing champion back in the 90s. Had some battles with Evander Holyfield. I will not call timeout. Second and seven at the 33 as we're nearing the two-minute warning. Riddick, not Riddick, Montana throwing to Gonzalez for 16 more. That's another first down. And Montana, 8 for 14, 144. Gonzalez, 3 for 42. I have Riddick Bow on my brain. What can I tell you? Two-minute warning, so we're down, down to a win at 53. Each team with all three of its timeouts left. First and goal at the 17 as the Chiefs go looking for more. That's incomplete. A long out to Bow, but it doesn't find the mark. Incomplete. Second and 10 at the 17. A throw complete. Richardson. The face mask. Defense. Number 58. Automatic. First down. I was going to say he gained four yards, but they're going to have a little more to that. Half the distance of the goal situation. First and goal now at the LA6. A minute 41 to go. And this is Jamal Charles gaining a yard. Jones, Deacon Jones on the tackle at the five. We'll see if Kansas City wishes to call a timeout. They do not. <laughs> And that is Montana handing to Richardson for no gain. Kansas City finally calling timeout. They have two left. A third and goal at the five. That's an incompletion. Holding offense, number 71, 10-yard penalty. We will decline it and set up a kick. This is from 22. Should be easy, and it is. Butker puts it through. I want to call him Butkus, like Dick Butkus, but not to be. 13 nothing Chiefs with 57 seconds. Now left in the half. Arnett, Lewis, and Williams back deep. They kick deep, and nobody can get to it, so it's a touchback. Rams have all three timeouts if they want to make an issue here, and I think they will want to. Lead him across to Tom Fears, who's a wide receiver tight end. That is incomplete. We have 49 seconds to go. How about Brown? Really not much they can do pass-wise against this Kansas City defense. It has a 9, a 10, has 5 DBs. Three of them are 9s, two of them are 10s. Peters is in playing as a fifth defensive back. We're going to go hitch to... Brown, it's a dump to McCutcheon, who gains seven, and L.A. will burn a timeout with 43 seconds to go. We're going to act like we're going to run it, but we're going to actually throw it long. Actually, we can't do that because the odds are so patently observed, ab absurd that we must try, we'll try a short hitch to Ellard. Incomplete. You gotta wonder if LA has the right quarterback right now with Goff, seven for thirteen for forty-six yards. But I think this is a, more of a testament to the uh, Kansas City defense than anything else. Villanueva will punt again, but you might want to, as the head coach, I, I control the home team, the LA team. I might want to give them a new look uh, when we come back for the second half. Thirty seconds left, so now Kansas City with two timeouts, they could still do something. Montana, throwing long, incomplete. Looking for Bo, but not finding him. 
Second and ten with 22 ticks on the clock. It's going to be a screen to Richardson. Can Richardson make some noise here? It's, he steps out after a seven-yard gain. Eight seconds left, so I'm going to go 3-1, prevent. Well, 3-1, prevent. Deep zone. Try to keep it in front of you. Charles, a fumble, but recovered by Kansas City, but time ran out. And that's your half. Your score is 13-0, Casey. I will be back after a brief break. Welcome back. 13 nothing, Kansas City over Los Angeles. It's been uh, a very one-way traffic kind of game. We'll show you the box and go down to the stats. Oops. Hey, hey, I wasn't done with that yet. Come here. You see it there. It was Montana to Smith and then two Butker field goals. 199 for KC, 74 for Los Angeles. Two trips inside the 20 for Kansas City, but they could only get field goals off of them. Otherwise, this would be a much wider open game. Uh, Kansas City would be leading by a wider margin. 33 plays for Kansas City, 27 for L.A. Time of possession has been actually to L.A.'s favor by 18 seconds. we got Hall, Charles, and Holmes all back deep. And this is going to be a kick out of bounds. Kicking team. That is not what the Rams needed. It was Richter kicking off, by the way. So it's first and 10 at the 40. In Dave Koch's Action PC Sports Football 2021. Action PC Football 2021. By the way, it, it, this is not going to be something that's going to be relevant uh, by the time you see this, but for this Labor Day weekend, they do have sales on seasons and whatever sets you would like to get. First and 10 at the 40. It's a good way, if you, if you are brand new to action PC football and you want to learn the ropes, it's a good time to buy because everything is on sale. First and 10 at the 40 after the kickoff going out of bounds. This is Richardson only gaining a yard. Second and nine at the 41. We have just started quarter number three. It is 13 nothing Kansas City. See a few quarterbacks warming up for L.A. That is a screen to Charles for 11 yards. Setting up first and 10 at the L.A. 48 with 14.03 to go. Montana, long throw, bow, six points. They will pick up the flag. They thought there was a penalty, but there wasn't. So Dwayne Bow with a long distance grab. 48 yards. And it's 19-0 Kansas City. Your point after good by Butker. And it is 20 to nothing. So LA off to a bad start against the Kansas City Chief team that came to play. Arnett Lewis Williams, again back deep. We're gonna down it. Kick went seven yards deep. So, Goff might be out of there, and they're looking for... Jared Goff has the highest pass rating, but uh, they are going to go with Case Keenum at quarterback. Keenum is going to play the rest of the way, try to shake things up here. He's out of Houston. And he played for the Rams back in 17. McCutcheon, trap right. And that's going to be a gain of seven. Second down and three. Jim Everett was the quarterback last year for, uh, for Los Angeles. Slant to Brown on second and three. Doesn't appear to be open, and it's not incomplete. Third and three. Screen. No, we're going to make it a pitch right with Tank Younger. 
And Younger cannot turn the corner. That's a fourth down now for Kansas City. No gain on the play. They needed three. Villanueva will punt it away to Dante Hall. And we have a problem with the snap. It's a bad snap covered by Brown and Kansas City just getting all the breaks at this point. The L.A. coaching staff looking back at Goff and saying, next possession, you get back in there. So we gave uh, Keenum a look, but that wasn't up to par. First and 10 at the 16. This is Montana throwing off the hands of Bo. Bo, three catches, 78, 79 yards now. Montana is 13 of 23, 226 and two touchdowns. Second and 10 at the 16. They will give it to Charles. And Charles with a five-yard gain. Cuts that distance down in half. Merlin Olsen making the tackle. Third and five at the 11. Thought L.A. would give him a tougher battle, but that has not been the case. A pickup of a yard for Charles. Butker is going to come in, I think, and try a 27-yard kick, which is good. Holding offense. Except Trier... Commits a holding penalty, so this will be 37 yards. And it pushed wide right. No good. So Keenan is out. We will go back to Goff. And see if he could make something happen now. First and 10 at the 27. We will go pitch it right to Tank Younger. And Younger, again, having problems turning the corner. He only gained two yards there. Younger on the day, six carries for just four yards. And it's second and eight. We haven't called Henry Ellard's number yet. Let's try that now, a short hitch. That's incomplete. Looked like somebody batted it down in the line. That was Allen, the defensive end. So let's give him a shout-out, Jared Allen. Third and eight at the 29. as the Rams seem completely bewildered. Goff over the middle for Fears, and that only brings tears to the L.A. bench, as again they cannot convert on third down. Villanueva punting it away. He had trouble last time, but this goes to plan. Hall, a return of five yards to Kansas City's own 35. Kansas City 20, L.A. nothing with eight. 53 now left in the third quarter. Montana in the high formation. Telegraphing a run, so let's see if that's what they do. And did L.A. meet the call? Well, he still got three yards. We call a run because it looks so obvious that, it, that Kansas City was going to run the ball. They go to Charles. Robertson on the stop. Gain of three. Second and seven at the 38. And I hear, I'm hearing some of that tomahawk chop that FSU likes to do, the chop, of seeing some Kansas City fans waving their right hands up and down, doing that chop, second and seven at the 38. I'd say at SoFi Stadium is about 10,000 Kansas City Chiefs fans. Gain of two yards for Charles, third and five at the 40. They're 60 yards away from a score. Montana will throw, penalty, Pass interference, defense, number 47, automatic, first down. They get Leroy Irvin for being a little too handy, and it's a first down for KC. They lead 20 to nothing with 719 left to go in the third. This is 25, Charles, a pickup of five. Rich has been injured. He is out for the game. Sherman, who is an eight defender, is going to come in. You see him there out of St. Mary's, back when they had a football school. Second and five at the 47. I don't think they play Division I anymore. That is J.T. Smith gaining 12. McDaniel on the tackle. And Kansas City just doing whatever they want to do right now. First and 10 at the L.A. 35. Charles, a pickup of two. Cromwell on the tackle. Second and eight at 33. As the clock winds down and L.A. doesn't have the ball. This is Charles again, three yards. Let's update you on Charles. 
He is at 15 carries for 40 yards. He has two catches for 23. A third and five at the L.A. 30. This is Bo again, gaining 13. Gray on the tackle. Kansas City just keeps moving the chains and finding ways to turn third downs into first downs. Let's see what their third down conversion rate is. They are four out of nine. So actually, they, they haven't been too successful. L.A. has been three for ten so far in the game. A first and ten at the Ram 17. And this crowd at SoFi Stadium getting increasingly restless. Deacon Jones made the tackle on Charles. It's a gain of four. Priest Holmes, number 31, he's going to enter the game and give Jamal a spell. Second and six at the 13. It's Montana throwing. Richardson, we have a marker. Offense, number 71, 10-yard penalty. They get Schwartz, so back them up 10. Second and 16 at the 23. The throw, complete to Gonzalez, that's 10 yards back. Making it third and six. 306 now left in the third. A penalty. Encroachment defense. Number 85. Five yard penalty. Repeat. They, third down. They get Youngblood. Jack Youngblood. Let's show you him. Out of Florida. So that third and six just turned into a third and one. Very makeable for Kansas City. Holmes. Pater, touchdown, Kansas City, and the onslaught continuing here at SoFi Stadium. 26 to nothing, and your point after try by Butker is good. 27 nothing with 216 left in the third. Arnett to return, and this is another very good kick. Uh, so... That's a touchback, and it's first and 10 at the L.A. 20. Screen to Younger on first and 10. Is L.A. trying to find a way to get some points on the board? That's an incompletion deflected by Holly. Second and 10. Very good uh, Kansas City team. And you're going to wonder how how much of an impact they're going to have in this expanded West Division where they're going to play Kansas City twice. We're going to go medium fly to Ellard on second and ten. See if we can catch them napping. No! That is incomplete, but... Defense. Number 24. Automatic. First down. Finally, Los Angeles gets a P.I. to go their way, and it's first and ten at the 36. McCutcheon. Off tackle left. And that's a gain of two. A second and eight. We'll go Fears on the short slant. Goff runs with it, gains five. Slid down so nobody tackled him. And with a minute four left, it's third and three at the LA 43. And we have nothing to lose going long, I guess. We'll go to Ellard. There's the throw, but Ellard could not find a handle on that. Fourth and three, and Danny Villanueva is getting more airtime than anybody in this game, and he will punt it away. Standing at his own 30, and Hall took it inside at the 10. I thought he took it inside the 10, but his return was only for one yard. So Montana and company back out with a 27-0 lead, 12 seconds left in the third. This is Holding Charles. Offense, number 68. But a holding penalty is going to move Kansas City back half the distance to the goal. As I very briefly check some email. I get I get a lot of spam email from people claiming to be women. Eh, first at 16 at the 5, 4 seconds left. Whether they're women or not, I have no idea. Incomplete pass. Montana was looking to Richardson there. And that'll do it for the third quarter.
One more quarter to go. It is still 27-0 in favor of KC. L.A. still looking for points. Second and 16 at the 5. The throw complete the bow. And he goes over the 100-yard mark on the day. Five catches and 104 yards. Montana is now up to 17 for 28. 273. Two touchdowns. KC has 339 total yards. L.A. only has 79. So this has been a sterling job here by the Kansas City defense holding L.A. in check all game long. Third and fourth to 17. Throw. Complete to Gonzalez. That's 10 more yards and another Kansas City first down. So you got to think that in this, this new Western division with eight teams in it, that Kansas City and San Francisco are going to play each other twice, like they did last year. But Kansas City and San Francisco are going to have quite a battle uh, to win the Western Division. We take the best four teams. Uh, we take the best four teams, the four division winners. They are the one to four seeds. The wild cards are seeded five to sixteen. But you want to get the seeds five, six, seven, and eight because if you get those, you get a you get a one week buy. The division winners get a two week buy. First and ten at the twelve. 27. That is Charles picking up, I'm sorry, Richardson picking up two more yards. Olsen on the tackle. A second and eight at the 29. Seattle should be good this year with Jerry Rice as one of their receivers. A third and nine at the 28. 1228 left in the game unless we go OT, which doesn't look likely now. Bo with the catch. Holding offense. Number 77, 10-yard penalty. It would be a first down, so they have to accept the penalty. Third and 19. Montana. That's incomplete. And if you're Kansas City, why are you even throwing the ball here? You're up 27. Fourth and 19. Wilson back to punt. Brown back to return. L.A. has the wind advantage. Uh, but a fair catch made by Brown at the 37. 11.27 left. 27 nothing in favor of L.A. L.A. will be throwing. Fears on a medium cross. And again, that's another incompletion to him. Ellard has not had a catch all game. He has no catches, no yards. So let's try to get it to him on a screen. Second and ten. That's incomplete. We'll go to him again. Medium out. Goff now 7 of 19. Make that 7 for 20. Pass interference, defense. Number 24, 10-yard penalty, automatic, first down. Peters picks up a P.I., and L.A. moves the ball at the 47. First and 10. L.A. still at 79 yards, and that is it. They have been held in check by this great Kansas City defense. Goff is going to run it for 8 yards. And it's going to be second and two at the Kansas City 45. And we're going to go Ellard, play action, medium flyer out. Got to hit one of these. Incomplete. That bounced off of somebody. He Goff threw it in the general direction of McCunchen, but somebody came along and deflected the ball. Third and two at the 45. Do we give it to McCutcheon and give him some yardage? Why not? That's a first down and more. McCutcheon to the 30, to the 20, to the 10, to the 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Touchdown, L.A. So a great call there. Third and two, and McCutcheon needed two, and he got 45. We're going to try for two points because it's 27-6. Three eights and a three gets you to 24. So we're going to try that, and we're going to go back to McCutcheon here. Trap left. Can he get the two? He can, and it is 27 to 8. So McCutcheon picking up all the points. The six and the two. And we will try an onside kick here. Cross your fingers. And no, Kansas City gets it. Waters recovering it at the 48 of LA. Worth the try, but a failed effort. So the Kansas City lead is now 19. Great Paul Hardcastle song from 1985. I think I got into a little trouble last night uh, 
the game that I did last night between uh, St. Louis and Indianapolis because I was riffing uh, the Johnny Cash song Jackson when Steven Jackson came in the game. So I'll try to keep that in check. First and 10 at the 48. You don't want to get on YouTube's bad side. Charles will get a first down on first down and pick up 13 yards. Charles is now 18 carries, 56 yards, two catches for 23. Montana, 18 for 30, 283. Goff has had a very bad day, 7 of 20 for 46 yards. And I'm seeing quarterbacks warming up on the L.A. bench. So we get to Jim Everett. And that's Charles picking up six yards. Jones, Deacon Jones on the tackle. Second and four at the L.A. 29. 8.37 left. Fans are already starting to head for the exits. And this is the Charles. Review, the runner reached the first down marker. First down. There was a timeout will be charged. There was a gain of four. Kansas City challenged the spot and got it on the challenge. So they lose their challenge the remainder of the game. But they don't lose a timeout. First and 10 at the 25. Montana throwing. Incomplete. Looking for a bow. Second and 10. 745 left now. Fourth quarter. This is Gonzalez. Gonzalez. A 15-yard gain to the 10. Gonzalez on the day. Now has six catches for 77. Montana now 19 of 32. What a, what a game for him. 298. Closing in on that 300-yard mark. First and goal at the 10. Montana might get the 300 yards here. He does. Bo, touchdown. And that's another touchdown for Bo. Third touchdown of the game for Montana, who now goes to 308 yards on the day. 33 nothing. Butker with the point after is good. And it's 34 nothing. I'm not 34 nothing, but 34 to 8. With 6.47 left to go. Arnett, Lewis, and Williams back deep. The lead now extended out to 26. Arnett gaining 24 yards to the 24. So he cut out of the goal line. First, I think that's the first return he's had all day. So Goff will go back out. Jim Everett, don't call him Chris, comes in. And they're going to go to Fears here on a medium cross. That's incomplete. L.A. still at 132 yards of offense. Slant to Henry Ellard. But they come in and they sack Everett. Smith on the sack. Neil Smith from Nebraska. And it's now third and 18. Ellard on a long pass. Got nothing to lose going long. Everett decides to run it, and he only gains four. Fourth and 14, and Villanueva will come in to punt again. It's been that kind of game for L.A. Hall returns it five yards out to the 38. We have light Mike Livingston. Mike Livingston, number 10. Coming in, he was an understudy for many years for Tolen Dawson. So he will come in and play quarterback the rest of the way. We had 4.53 left, a 34-8 to score. Richardson gaining four yards to make it second and six. More fans heading to the exits, heading to the L.A. freeways. Second and six at the 42. Charles gaining four yards. Be careful out there, folks. I don't want to hear about any accidents. Third and two at the 46. Livingston just handing the ball off. That's a one-yard loss. Kevin Green made the tackle. His first time we've really seen anything out of Green today. I will watch for the fake punt, though I don't think they would try it. And I'll just let it roll. Down to 239. And Brown returned it two yards to the 15. We're going to play four wide, go shotgun. Red Phillips for a short cross. That is complete. Phillips is the fourth wide out. By the way, let's just take a look at him, show you he is from Auburn. Played in the early 60s. Can also play tight end. We'll play a hurry up. We'll go Ellard on the short slant. 
Everybody putting their scrubs in, it looks like. Ellard with the catch, a gain of nine. Yeah, LA ha uh, Kansas City has a second string in defense in, so let's introduce you to everybody. Young, Brown, Poe, and Moss are the defensive linemen. Mitchell, Edwards, Lynch are your linebackers. Carter, Smith, Parker, and Kearney are your defensive backs. So L.A. can throw with confidence. They are going to go to Brown on a long pass. First and 10 at the 33. The throw. It's caught by Brown, and that's a gain of 23. When you see the scrubs come in, the offenses salivate their lips. A minute 50 to go. Another long pass to Brown. First and 10 at the KC 44. That's caught, and that's a gain of 23 yards. A minute 29 to go, and we will stay in the no huddle, and we're going to go slant to Ed Ellard with a minute 29. That's caught. That's six. Touchdown, the Rams. I think here we'll kick the extra point. It's 34-14. The extra point by Bob Waterfield will make it 34-15. And we're now down to a minute two. We'll go onside kick. And again, Kansas City picks it up. Richter kicked it off, but he kicked it off too far. Montana is back in, but they should just fall on the ball here a couple of times. And I'm going to let them because we can't come back from this far down. Montana will take another knee, and this game should be over. I'm not going to challenge it. And that is all she wrote. 34-15, Kansas City over Los Angeles. Your MVP of the game, but who else but Joe Montana. That offense, 404 KC, 213 for LA. Kansas City, 4 for 5 in the red zone, two touchdowns, two field goals. They went 6 for 15. They held the ball 35 minutes and 8 seconds. It was about even, Stephen, after the first half. Kansas City ran 66 plays. L.A. ran 50. Let's show you the player stats. Montana, the better thrower. Although Everett had a good game, but that was when the scrubs came in for KC, 5 for 6. A perfect rating of 158.3. Yes, in the NFL, the quarterback, if the quarterback rating is 158.3, it's perfect. Don't ask me how that is, but that's how it is. Leading rusher was McCutcheon, 12 for 94. The leading receivers were Bo and Gonzalez. Bo with 114 yards and Gonzalez with 77. I always like to look at the leading tackler and show you who that is. And again, the game cuts me off from showing it to you. 34-15, of course, was your final. And we will show you that the leading tackler was Les Richter, who was kicking off. Eight tackles. Nobody on Kansas City had more than four. They had a late day's work. So there we go, folks. We've played one game in each conference now. And we're going to come back and do Baltimore-New England, the Monday night game. And that'll be our final game of the week, coming to you September 10th at 7 o'clock. But Join us at 6 o'clock on September 10th, which should be tomorrow, if you are seeing this on the evening of September 9th, and we're going to do the recap show. In real time, in September 3rd, I'm going to do that right now. But we're going to stop tape, and we're going to put a little cherry on this Sunday and tell you, thank you for watching this last almost an hour. This has been Big Polly coming to you, wishing you well. Godspeed. God bless. Go Bucks. We'll do it all again soon. Bye-bye for now, everybody.